Good morning, everybody. In this video, we're going to talk about solving systems of linear equations using graphs. So I've written out a system of linear equations. And first of all, you need to remember what the goal of solving a system of linear equations is. The goal is to find a, a coordinate point, x and y, that makes this top equation true when you plug in x and y. And then also when you plug in x and y here, it makes the bottom equation true. So think about these as both lines. You can solve their linear equations. And we're going to put these on a graph here in a minute. And basically, you're going to have one line, you know, maybe go this way, another line go that way. And wherever they cross is the solution, the single point that makes both lines, that's on both lines and makes both of these equations true. So your first step is to get these in a format where you're comfortable graphing them. And I recommend y equals mx plus b. Uh, that's not your only choice, but that's my choice. Um, so I'm going to take the first equation, we'll just kind of box this off uh, and solve it for uh, y. And to do that, I'm going to take away 5x from both sides, get the y by itself, first the y term by itself. Those cancel out. Now you get minus 2y is minus 5x plus 12. And then um, to get rid of this minus two, since it's minus two times y, we're gonna divide everything by minus two. So you get one y equals a slope of five halves times x, and then 12 over minus two makes minus six. I'm gonna put a box right there. Um, and uh, then over here, I'm gonna take the other equation, minus three x, plus y equals negative seven. We're going to add three x to both sides to get the y by itself. And this is actually a little easier because now y is already all by itself. And uh, there we go. Now you can see that uh, uh, both my uh, points are off the page here. So maybe I need to uh, just have a little bit more space on my graph. Go down a little bit farther, get minus six, minus seven. Um, so the reason I did that is I can see that my y-intercept here is negative seven. So we'll put a, a, a single dot right there. And then um, for a slope of three, that's up three over one. So rise three, remember how slope works. This is the rise and this is the run. So I'm going to rise three, one, two, three, and run one. Rise one, two, three, run one. Rise one, two, three, run one. I'll just kind of draw a line here to kind of show you this. So that's my first line. Uh, like I said, rise three, run one. Rise three, run, run one. Um, this other line, five halves x minus two. Um, here, five over two is my rise and run. So rise five, run two. We're gonna start this one at negative six. We're gonna rise one, two, three, four, five, and then run two right here. And then rise one, two, three, four, five, and then run two over here. And you can see this line is gonna look like get it straight here. You know, the hardest thing about graphing, solving by graphing is just getting a good picture. So hopefully you can see here, this point right here is uh, two negative one, and that is my solution. Because that's where these guys cross each other. And uh, if you go back up here with the two negative one to the very original problem, you would see that uh, two times five is 10, Minus two times minus one is two. 10 plus two makes 12. That satisfies the first equation. Uh, minus three times minus two for x is six. Plus one is, uh, plus negative one is negative seven. So that two negative one does appear to be a solution. So the steps are get these in a, in a, in a format that you're comfortable with uh, graphing and uh, then put in your x and y and, uh, you know, sorry, put in your y intercept and your slope graph them both and see where these intersect. I hope this helps you. See you next time.